does lack of contentment do to people? Number one is the root of covetousness and greed. <laughs> when you see people say, the reason I did what I did was because I didn't have this. If only I had it. Go and find out from those that have. Covetousness, which is lack of contentment, will make a married man. He has a wife at home, then he will leave his wife and be looking for the woman he doesn't have. Contentment makes you despise what you have. And they say the grass is always greener on the other side. Right? When you get there, you will see that it's not grass, it's tough. It's astro tough. In some cases, it's just paint. It's hard concrete. Just painted green. Contentment makes people to go after what is not theirs. Do you remember the case of Gehazi, the servant of the prophet? The Lord said to his servant, Elisha, don't collect anything from the man. Don't even go and see him. Covetousness said to Gehazi, if you follow this prophet, you will die a pauper. Now, the line he was towing, learning to become a prophet under prophet Elisha, meant that there were clothes he couldn't wear. Meant that there were things he couldn't use by the nature of the prophetic office. Okay, the priest had theirs. The prophet had theirs. There was a way they looked like. Particularly coming from the lineage of Elijah. Of Elijah. You know, when you follow Elijah, <laughs> there were things, you just look somehow. Okay? So, Gehazi in that lineage had things he could never wear. But guess what he did? Lack of contentment, he went after Naaman. When he met with a... Uh, with him, he said, my, my master said. So, he went into lies. Lack of contentment leads to covetousness and greed, which then makes us to begin to tell lies. Say, my master said, he just got visitors now. And he doesn't have anything at home. Embarrassing his master. He said, if we can get some of those things that you were going away with, and when he got them, he hid them before his master came. That's what lack of contentment can do in our lives. Lack of contentment. You know, I've met people who are in debt, financial difficulty. When you ask them, how did you get there? They said they took a loan. What did you use the loan to do? He said, I bought some clothes. I bought some clothes. Where are the clothes now? They are in the wardrobe. Now, time has passed over those clothes. They are no longer as trendy as they used to be. He's still in debt, but the clothes are out of fashion. Sincerely, it is lack of contentment with most of us. And, you know, I see it with people that don't have. It's shocking that, in fact, it's more common with people that don't have. The earlier you master your spirit, the better for your destiny. Contentment is having peace with what you have. Young people, it's a lot among ladies. It's in a relationship with this brother. Then a new brother comes to church who has a car. The one he, she has does not have a car. At least yet. Because don't write anybody off. So this one has a car. Is looking posh. Is looking tush. Is looking packaged. But she doesn't know that that is all. Packaging. Then. <laughs> she begins to look at this other one. And she begins to give the existing one an attitude. You know, gives them attitude. And eventually she says, I don't think we can be together again. Why? What did I do? So you didn't do anything. It's not about you. 
is me. It's you. Can we talk about it? No, we can't talk about it. Then the next thing you hear is that she has gone with packaging. She left content and went for packaging. Because she's not content. Praise God. And then, when she enters, she finds out that it's all packaging. Lack of contentment. If you are that kind of brother that was left, you better thank God that it's not yet too late. Because if you're already at home, you've married her, that kind of person will put you in a big problem. If your friend, one schoolmate, comes around, it's going to just be a problem. I read a story recently about a case like that where his friend came out, one of his old schoolmates, who probably now is richer than him, and guess what happens? The woman collected his number. One thing led to the other. Of course, the man himself was also liking her. They began to sleep with each other. And now, she's pregnant for the friend of her husband. There is no way to tell the husband that he was the one because they have both agreed that no more children. So, he couldn't have been the one. Now, there's confusion everywhere. Lack of contentment in the lives of people lead them to great problems. When you don't have contentment, you'll be questioning everything. Why don't I have this? Why don't I have that? Have you not read, be content with such things as you have? With lack of contentment, you run after today, neglecting tomorrow. Many of, you know, people that don't have contentment, they deal only with what their eyes can see. They don't deal with what their eyes cannot see. If you stay with him, his tomorrow can be great. That is what is happening. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. When you lack contentment, you will always want to acquire. 